Let's talk today about the importance of having a spiritual discipline and why that's important today. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Monday, November 20th. And the reason that we are thinking about and talking about spiritual discipline is the moon. Uh, which was in Aquarius, that sign of shakeup and detachment and perspective over the weekend. Um, early this morning, about 6.30 a.m. Pacific time uh, in the U.S., uh, goes into Pisces. Pisces is the sign of spirituality, of uh, that bigger picture of meaning and how we connect with the oneness of all that is, um, transcend the, the limitations of the physical world and really connect with our spiritual truth and our spiritual needs. Um, and as the moon enters Pisces, it meets Saturn in very, very early Pisces. So within the first degree of Pisces, the moon will connect with Saturn, forming a conjunction. And that conjunction of the moon in Pisces with Saturn in Pisces brings a need for some structure, some uh, ways of thinking about and framing our spirituality in a way that is going to make it more of a um, consistent practice. So uh, the energy of Saturn brings in with it the energy of a need for discipline, a need for um, being uh, creating a container for ourselves that that uh, helps, especially in the case of Pisces, helps that spiritual energy flow in the ways that it needs to flow. So, um, so we've got first of all. Saturn in Pisces, that's a two year to two and a half year placement. So, um, so with the energy of Saturn in Pisces, we have that energy of boundaries, structure, limitations in the um, sign of transcendence and oneness and interconnectedness of all. <laughs> so, Putting that um, need for limitations, that need for definitions, for containers, for our spiritual energies and our spiritual practices. So um, with the moon passing by Saturn, kind of highlighting, right, bringing that uh, lunar energy to the Saturnian energy. And so it brings it into how we feel, how we um, experience the mood or the vibe of the day and uh, connecting it with that need for something practical, something grounded, something um, that can bring that spiritual perspective into our earthly existence. So thinking about a daily practice. Um, what is that for you? What does it look like to have some discipline around your spirituality? Do you um, need to have a, a daily practice of meditation? Do you need to have regular time in nature? Maybe you need all of it. <laughs> maybe, maybe that, um, but it's where we think about the, the disciplines and the practices that we need and that structure that we need to remind us to connect with that bigger picture. So anything that helps you connect with your heart, with what your heart wants, what your heart feels, because your heart is that energy of um, not being separate from other beings and other people in your life. And so that place where um, we feel that mushiness of connection. So <laughs> that's a technical term. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so thinking about what are your practices, what kind of discipline do you need? What kind, uh, how can you, um, spruce it up, right? Uh, re recommit to it, reconnect to it. Um, it's fine if you're not perfect, right? You don't have, that's not <laughs> the, the cycles of astrology remind us that everything changes all the time. And so there is no one ideal or standard you should be measuring yourself against. It is what is your truth in this moment? What is your truth today? What do you need today? And so 
self-care and this is a good day to revisit to reconnect with to refresh your spiritual practices um even if that is as simple as a cleansing breath cleansing breath is such a great concept because with the breath we can so let go of whatever is distracting us um pulling us off course um what what are the thoughts we're having that are creating worry fear anxiety in our bodies that are affecting our ability to to be effective right <laughs> affecting with an a our ability to be effective with an e um so so taking that cleansing breath um doing something like uh something that you have as a routine every day when you're brushing your teeth you're you're saying some affirmations for your day or when you're eating your breakfast or drinking your tea or whatever whatever is in your flow whatever works for you in terms of routines to have a regular practice to bring in that reminder that you are a spiritual being you are connected to the infinite and uh, you are welcoming and bringing in that energy to support you because it is that that energy of unconditional love spirituality is our connection to all that is a reminder that there is no uh worthiness there's no question of belonging there's no question that you deserve the good things in life right it's just you are just a being of the divine and you get to embody that in uh the ways that you choose so what is your spiritual practice how are you refreshing or revamping that today uh let me know in the comments thank you so much for being here i'm marina orms and you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com if you missed yesterday's video on um, november 19th that was about the early today's early morning first quarter moon in Aquarius. So right before the moon went into Pisces, we had that exact first quarter moon. Um, and I went in depth yesterday uh, in the November 19th video about uh, what that is bringing, how it's um, shaking things up, but also giving us a new perspective, new um, start on things, right? A, a way to uh, reorganize and reorder through the um, way that things are getting changed or uh, disturbed, right? <laughs> the way that my um, mail is falling on the floor and now I have to reorganize it because it all fell into a big jumble. So watch yesterday's video for more on that. And uh, thanks so much for being here. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you again. And I will see you next time with more unshakable self-care through astrology. Bye for now.